Now that I have my lights lit up, I can take my second piece of fabric and place it over the lights. You'll notice you'll see the lights shine through the fabric. I'm going to use my lights to guide my drawing with the puff paint. For instance, in my design, I want this to be an X. So I can take the puff paint and draw my X. So as you can see, the puff paint or fabric paint has been applied to the fabric to complete the design on the outside. And I've actually added the remaining code to the rest of the pins on the lily pad, with the exception of the battery source. So because this also acts as a power source, we can kind of see what the design will look like when it's lit up. with the fabric over the top, okay? Remember that we talked about hanging the frame so that the message could be in this direction. So when we put the fabric on top of the frame, we can examine where we want to put the battery source. In the original design, I had the battery source here. However, when I flip over the frame, you'll see that this will be in the way and cause more obstruction to making the frame lay flat in addition to using these pieces of foam. So I need to move my battery source up and perhaps change the direction of it. I can take my cloth measuring tape and I can measure how far up the frame I need to go to be out of the way of this. And I can see it's three inches. So now going back to my piece of fabric and using my pencil lines can see that this is going to be about three inches above the back of the frame. I can also see that the pins that I'm going to use to attach the battery source, the negative and positive, are right here on the Adrena board. So if I attach my power source right here and sew everything, it will still be in a good spot 